pundits and economic experts say that Africa is the next venue for investment. The huge infrastructural projects currently ongoing on the continent, including Kenya, are testament to the veracity of this prediction. These projects always require the input of professional technicians, such as welders. Welding is fusion of metal or any other method. Uh, you join them using a uh, heat fusion. And sometimes you can have challenges in terms of porosity, in terms of uh, deformation, uh, in terms of cracks. And uh, that is why we need welding certification. Basically, it's a, you know, a welding qualification test to ascertain that the welder has welded uh, this metal and is devoid of any, uh, any challenges or any deformities. With this in mind, the Kenya Bureau of Standards, KEBS, a statutory body established under the Standards Act, has rolled out a welder certification scheme which aims at raising the bar in welder certification and employability of Kenyan welders. Welding certification scheme is an initiative by uh, KEBS certification body and that is the body that certifies uh, personnel in different uh, competencies. Yes, we have qualified welders that are able to do uh, good weld but we realize that unless they are uh, certified, they may not be able to undertake that job. The welder certification scheme will address challenges limiting the growth of trade and industry in Kenya. It is a training solution that will equip individuals with competencies in welding based on national and international standards. The standard is a document that is developed by stakeholders through consensus and it's uh, approved by a recognized body, the Kenya Bureau of Standards, and it's meant for repeated use uh, to provide um, consistent results. The Kenya Bureau of Standards seeks to ensure that major infrastructure projects in Kenya will find a pool of competent welders locally, hence maximizing the benefits of local content injected directly into the economy. The welder certification process it is about recognition of competence of a welder and we do it according to the international standards ISO 17024 and ISO 9606 which is about recognition of a person that they are competent to do a certain task. So in our process it requires the welder to make an application and when we receive the application, we review whether the welder meets the prerequisites for certification. Once we review and we are confident that the person is eligible for application, we plan for a witnessed examination when the welder is supposed to make a weld as our registered examiner witnesses. To achieve this objective, the scheme introduces a three-year renewable global certification to applicable national and international standards, including ISO 15607, ISO 9606-1, ISO 17846, ISO 38341-6, and ISO 17024, among others. The training will deal with technical knowledge on welding processes and health and safety of equipment, personnel and the environment. Among the issues that the welder certification scheme will address include poor quality welds that cause the economy in the form of pipe and structural failures that result in loss of containment, fires and their related costs, understanding various material and their physical and chemical characteristics, listing requirements for assurance of welding and fabrication competence, providing welders with numerous career opportunities, professional development and industry networking. We didn't need a national skill certificate does the skill upgrading because NITA is mainly dealing with the people who are already employed or people in workplace. NITA and KEPS are working together and they there's a name for you that allows NITA to train and KEPS to offer a certificate. Due to the KEPS certifications, I have an advantage to get a job anywhere. So when I get the job and get good capital where I can start my own business, I'll run my own company and employ you. When I'm done with my training at NITA, 
I'll register with KEBS so that I can get the certificate which will market me and it will actually boost me because I'll be now a satisfied welder. Industries that have welding as a core input in their technical and physical operations will benefit tremendously from the scheme, among them transport, mining, building and construction, manufacturing, marine and shipbuilding, oil and gas, chemical and energy. Welding, especially underwater parts of a vessel, is critical because once you do the welding and it is tested and it sails, it is important that no leaks occurs. After carrying out welding processes and procedures and completing our welding, we invite third-party companies to carry out non-destructive testing. In Kenya Ferry, we cross 350,000 people per day and 6,000 cars. This uh, collaboration with the Kenya Bureau of Standards will be very instrumental to us because when our welders are able to take care of our seven ferries, I believe we will be saving on cost because we normally have to take our ferries to African Marine or even to Southern Engineering Company. Uh, semi trailer involves a lot of uh, metal work in it. As far as the safety of the trailer is concerned, quality of the weld is very priority because the place where the, the prime mover and the trailer is connected is also joined with a part called the kingpin and the base plate. And if the quality of weld is not good, there is a fatal accident that can take place on the road and which is harmful to the gender one entry. A lot of our maintenance works is uh, about welding. And that's the reason why we put a lot of emphasis in training the personnel who do the maintenance of that uh, key infrastructure. Because this is a high pressure, high temperature installation. We took our welders for uh, training at um, National Youth Service. Uh, later on, we uh, took them for certification with the uh, Kenya Bureau of Standards. They are able now uh, to carry out uh, a lot of the work that previously we were not able to do. Our welders are certified uh, at the highest level of welding, which is 6G. When you are certified, you are, your quality of weld improves. In KPC, we try to provide uh, efficient, reliable, safe transportation of petroleum products. It is a very sensitive industry because we deal with uh, oil and gas. We have to take every measure to ensure safety for staff, safety for environment. This safety starts with how we do our welding. So root, root run first, uh, we start from down, going up. Because when you weld, it sits on the other one as you weld. Hot pass, we, we run from top, going down, downhill, to reinforce the roots. The reason why we are doing all this is to avoid what you call blow holes when you are doing your capping. Because you might see that you're going to finish the weld, then you have a, poke, a hole inside. And being that we are dealing we are in oil and gas industry, nothing is taken for chance. We have to do everything right, everything must just be perfect. We have to ensure who has qualified welder. We have right now 52 welders who are certified from CAPES and also who are certified from NITA and then Diploma in Engineering. When we hire them, then we have to apply to CAPES 9606 certification. This is important of the customer satisfaction. It was very important on getting the certification from the Bureau of Standards. It creates confidence for the customers who are coming to buy the products that we have the best certification in the company as the standard requires. Kenya Bureau of Standards will be collaborating with other relevant state agencies and regulatory bodies such as the National Construction Authority, NCA, technical training institutions and research institutions. Candidates for the program will include those with already prior training in welding as well as those who have learned on the job. As such, our renowned informal Ojuakali sector can benefit immensely from this program, enabling them to produce better goods that can compete at the international stage. Welders in this sector that employs thousands of welders will also be able to take up employment on major projects in Kenya, in the region and in other parts of the continent. The emphasis on technical and vocational education and training, TVET, with the national and county governments will also benefit from the program, 
enabling them to graduate job and market ready graduates conforming to the highest standards. Recognized worldwide, the certification will be a huge boost for Kenyan welders and an opportunity for them to self-develop to professional status. The mandate of the Kenya Bureau of Standards is to provide standardization and conformity assessment services. The weldment uh, made by the candidate is taken to our laboratory for non-destructive testing and examination of quality of the weld. And all the examination results are uh, presented to the Certification Body Decision Committee that makes decision whether the welder has met the competence requirements or not. This magnetic particle inspection unit is used to test surface and subsurface uh, defects, especially cracks within a weld, especially the toe cracks and the, uh, the, the end crater cracks. These are uh, magnetic particle ink. We set our current, then we magnetize. With the help of a UV light, it can clearly display the defects. We align ourselves in promotion of industrialization in this country. In automotive industry, for example, there's a lot of application of welding. A number of countries have now come into Kenya to set up plants for assembly of motor vehicles. Uh, the parts normally come into the country as completely knockdown kit, what is referred to as CKDs and they are assembled together through uh, sport welding. The CAPS uh, welder certification will, will help with the co global competitiveness of our vehicle uh, since we'll have the international accreditation for, for our welders which uh, will help us with proving that our vehicle is built uh, steadily and is safe for people's use. Welding might sound low-key and a non-priority area in training but it is a key ingredient in delivering trade and industry objectives. Indeed, it is a crucial component in delivering projects and building nations. Sasa unaweza kuwa kweli una masomo ya juu lakini kama hakuna body yote ambayo ilishakusatify kwa competency ya hii kazi ya welding itakuwa uruhusiki kufanya kazi ambapo tungekuwa tumefika mbali. We also export most of our certified welders to this industry in Uganda, Tanzania, Zaire where well, there is a lot of engineering works going on. I believe this will help Kenya Ferry uh, make sure that our ferries are in acceptable international standards uh, to give confidence even to our customers. Even when they are crossing, they know they are safe because the welders are certified and our body that is internationally recognized. Once we were able to train our personnel, we are now able to complete some of these projects. Uh, in very good time, uh, cutting down on the uh, revenue losses uh, through uh, extended under generation. Definitely, we would like to partner with CAPS uh, in the near future in sourcing our manpower. An international recognized certificate. We also enable our youths, who are very many, to also be engaged as migrant workers outside the country. Since uh, certification, our opportunities have improved. Now we have gone international, and uh, we are competing with the Chinese and the Indians. We require this certification program. It has not been there in Kenya before. It is the first time we are doing it, and therefore it's an opportunity for all welders, not just uh, those who are employed at the corporate level, but also those who are in the Juakari sector. A number of companies coming into Kenya are coming with their skilled personnel, and we want to empower our people to acquire these skills so that can, they can be able to be utilized within the country and also outside. And this is in line with the Big Four agenda of uh, you know, trying to improve manufacturing to contribute more to the GDP. Kenya Bureau of Standards. Standards for quality life.